on a very bleak and rainy day, U-764 departed Lorient Harbor for her first war patrol. Loaded to the brim with fresh food, fuel, and torpedoes, the boat was ready for whatever the Tommies had to throw at us. The crew was ready as well, and they knew they would be patrolling in very dangerous waters. BDU has ordered us to patrol Grid AM, just off the western coast of the United Kingdom. This is easily in reach of Allied air cover. After the horrific losses the U-boat arm has suffered this year, I have to say, our prospects for survival don't look that promising. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to another exciting U-boat video. As you can see, we are aboard U-764, and we started a new campaign, mainly because I wanted to experiment with a few new mods. All of those will be listed in the description below. And our orders for now are to really patrol grid AM4 and AM5. However, we did receive a radio message from BDU informing us to help an ally who is stranded here, and we are closing in on their position now, around 9 kilometers away. So we should be able to see them rather soon. It's currently December 28th, 1943. So things are going to get a little hairy. I do have rather, uh, I don't know, <laughs> crazy plans uh, for this boat. I, I want to do some, you know, wacky missions. So I think once we finish up here, I, we may head up to uh, Scapa Flow and see what's going on. Uh, it sounds suicidal, and it probably will be, so uh, that'll be fun, I suppose, depending on your definition of fun. It'll be interesting, at least. We are closing in on the friendly U-boat here. Let's get nice and close, and okay, we are close enough to conduct our mission. I'll stop. There we go, I'll stop, and let's see what is going on. The friendly U-boat is 300 meters away. We are going to send him on the mission then. Let's go ahead and get on it. All right, a Type 7B called for help. According to the message, they need fresh vegetables and fruits from us. We should probably take them with us before meeting the crew, assuming that we want to share. Okay, so let's get you to head down to the galley and pick up some vegetables. Six vegetables. Yeah. Uh, do we want to undercut them and just give them four? <laughs> yeah. That's what we'll, they don't need a whole lot. All right. Let's go down here. Run down here. Get those veggies. And, uh, and you're heading over there, bud. Did you already... Did you grab them? Yeah, he did grab him. Okay, cool. All right. Conrad. You're going. All right, travel to the Type 7B. He's getting in his little, little dinky boat and heading on over there. These are quite choppy seas, and he is really booking it. How fast is he going? Wow. It's impressive. Anyway, we'll see. We'll let him conduct his mission. And uh, hopefully they are satisfied with four vegetables, assorted vegetables and fruits. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly uh, what it contains. All right, he's aboard the boat. He was welcomed by the skipper of this vessel. After a short exchange of courtesy, the skipper got straight to the point and asked about the resources he asked for in the radio message. We have to share six food. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> No. All right. Get back here. We'll do it. We'll bring you the full six. Okay. He's all loaded up and he is heading towards the Type 7 once again. Hopefully this time the, the captain is satisfied with just six. He's like, oh, I thought I told you eight. Okay. Give him the food. The skipper thanked us for his help and promised to nicely mention us in his report to headquarters. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Uh, it is... 1943 and we're just hanging out on the surface at 538 in the morning so that's probably not very safe <laughs> and uh due to our proximity of the united kingdom it probably makes it even worse all right so he's going to get back on the boat and we're going to get the heck out of here we'll continue our patrol and travel these 2,000 kilometers hopefully we'll find something to shoot at in the meantime and then once this is complete we'll head up to scapa flow Ooh, 
we have something interesting from BDU. U38 reports having sighted a small group of merchant ships at these coordinates and grid AM529, uh, 11 hours Berlin time. Observed course is west and approximate speed is 6 knots. And this is pretty darn close to us, and it doesn't seem like a small group. Uh, 21 to 47 ships here, so that is quite a meaty convoy. We are going to increase speed to full and attempt to intercept. As you can see, I've been kind of tracking them and getting their course here. It looks like they are heading 275 degrees. Let's get that down. And uh, we are going to intercept them, and this should be quite interesting. That is a very large convoy, so... I am excited for this one, that is for sure. We're going to be burning a lot of fuel, but it'll be worth it in the end if we're able to catch them. Let's actually just head north, like so. Uh, I think we should be able to get into a pretty good position uh, to attack. We did a quick hydrophone check at 2300 hours, and let's see how far away we are from the convoy. We are around 68 kilometers away, so we are slowly getting there. I'll probably surface for a little bit of fresh air, before commencing the attack here. But we are on the right track and it looks like we'll be making our attack on uh, New Year's Day. So that'll be quite exciting for sure. We are pretty close. We actually have contact on a couple of freighters already here. And I am curious what their speed is. We're just going to do the old fashioned 315 method just to verify. BDU sent us the report of six knots. And we'll just do it on that freighter there real quick. So 3 minutes, 15 seconds, and that should get us a good reading for speed. Lots of freighters. We have one Corvette in the lead here. Two Corvettes up here. Oh, well, that's less than ideal, <laughs> actually. Uh, that's fine, though. It could be worse. All right. And we'll wait for three minutes. Perfect, hitting that now and 15 seconds. We'll mark again on this here freighter. 10 seconds. And 15, mark right on that bow. 0 0.3 to 0.4, 670 meters. So she is traveling 6.7 knots. We'll probably just plug seven knots into our TDC and I just flick some switches that's not good all right seven knots there we go let's go ahead and get it to track angle on bow is going to be to starboard so let's just go ahead and set that while we are at it most likely to starboard anyway and let's do some time compression and keep moving out of here our speed is nine knots what the heck how are we going so fast at slow speed? Can we slow down? Like... Oh my gosh. How the hell are we going so fast? That's... Kind of insane. And that's loud too. I do not want to be going that fast. I want to go like three knots. Yes, please. Okay, there we go. It may have been a misread there. What the heck? Okay, we have a cruiser in the middle of this. Well, that obviously is our new priority target. Let's move north and try to swing around and we'll fire torpedoes at the cruiser. All right. Let's turn down south and maybe we'll just reverse. I am worried. We want to fire before this Corvette is an issue. Which I have a feeling it'll be an issue pretty soon with our speed. Still three knots. Perfect. Okay, go down here. Turn off the gyro compass. You boys. Switch to... Okay, I guess you're already doing... Manual steering, there we go. Thank you, thank you. We want to avoid making as much noise as possible here. Lay nice and low. Okay. And this should be sufficient. Begin reversing. Reverse one. There we go. Okay, I suppose now's a good time to take a look at our targets. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Okay, let's adjust this. This out of the way here. Up scope. Now let's take a look at that cruiser and see what it is. I think I'm just going to launch a salvo of four torpedoes at the cruiser. I see no need not to. I want to be sure that thing goes down. And it's not like a cruiser or something that'll straggle behind and we can engage with our deck gun. <laughs> uh, is that her right there? Yeah, that looks like a cruiser to me. All right, lock on target. That's our cruiser friend. Let's She's identify two out. stacker. Click through all these guys. Ditto class. Yep, three turrets on the bow. Two on the stern, two stacks, and uh, some funnels in between those two main stacks. Recognized. Range to target. Set. 3.7 kilometers. Okay. Let's go ahead and plug that in, like so. Angle on bow. Let's put that at 80 degree or 75 degrees to starboard. For now, we are firing bow torpedo tubes. We are going to shoot a salvo. What is her length? That's the EF class at reset. Go back to the ditto and check that. 156 meters. Okay, set that to, we'll do uh, 150. Okay. And I think we are really good to go. We're going to fire our T1 torpedoes, which we have four of loaded up at a speed of 30 knots. I did install a mod that makes the torpedo behavior a little bit more realistic, so we don't actually have to preheat T1 torpedoes, which is fantastic. Okay, let's get back yeah, on that hello. scope. He's going to lower it up scope. And let's try to actually figure out what her angle on bow is. It is quite choppy out today, which is probably not a bad thing. Okay, there's our friend. And maybe not. No, she's over here. I don't know why. Okay, there we go. Interesting. Okay. Currently at bearing 320. I think we should probably fire uh, relatively soon. Angle on bow is probably... A little more acute. We're gonna do 70 degrees to starboard there. 30 knots. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this. Speed seven knots. Okay. We have not been, oh, I did not mean to unlock. Get back in there. It's a freighter that's about to race right in front of us. Once that freighter passes, we will fire. I keep getting those little micro stutters as well, which is less than ideal. Down scope. Let's give it a few seconds for that freighter to pass. And we will set these torpedoes up. Flood tubes one through four. Use the information from the TDC. I'm not sure if I need to set this, but I will go ahead and set it anyway. One degree spread depth. 3.5 meters, speed 30 knots. I just want to be sure that I don't have to, uh, I'm not sure if the TDC information will actually affect this. That's, I guess, my my worry here. Okay, the freighter seems to have passed up scope. I can kind of see through the reflection. We'll give it a little bit more time. We are getting awfully close. Let's do one more range read. Set. Okay, no way. Three. Closer to four kilometers. That's probably inaccurate. Let's go back. <laughs> That's a little far. Still in range of our torpedoes. We'll stick to around 3.5. Okay, tubes one through four. Los. One away. Two. All torpedoes away. Start moving forward. Drop depth down to 90 meters, please. Let's get out of here. Okay, all four torpedoes are running towards the target. Hopefully, they'll be able to avoid all of these ships in the way. This ditto is 
pretty deep in here and well protected. Look at all these Corvettes around it. <laughs> oh, that is quite worrisome. Well, now we'll see. Okay, those torpedoes made it past that freighter. I am not sure if they'll make it past this one. This torpedo seems to be running astray, however. And it may hit this freighter. I don't know. We can kind of see its wake there. Very difficult to see in these nighttime conditions, but it looks like it's going to make it past that freighter. We are in luck. Now it just has to make it past this little Corvette. For striking our main target. Okay, torpedoes are closing in on the Corvette. I think this torpedo is going to strike the Corvette. Let's take a look. I don't know here. I don't see the torpedo wake, unfortunately. Torpedo was a dud. So it did hit the Corvette, but it was a dud. That's quite lucky, actually. <laughs> okay, three torpedoes heading towards the Ditto. Here we go, folks. Hopefully we have no more duds. The new torpedo mod did enhance duds, and there we go. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Beautiful, beautiful. That was fantastic, actually. All the alarms are screeching now. Bring up the UI, and I think she is going down. Wow, is she glowing? What is down there? That's interesting. And that that is it. That is it. She is going down. She is going down and she has sunk. That is a successful sinking. This Corvette is heading our way. Let's increase speed just for a little bit to sprint here. And we can leave this view and take a look at our boat. All right, we are currently being pinged. That's okay, situation is normal. You, my friend, get in here. I want you to... I thought I took bolds. Unfortunately, I did not. <laughs> What a shame. So we are doing this without decoys. That is fine. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Down to 140 meters, please. 100. We are making our way out of here. It seems the escorts are a little confused and not exactly sure where we are. We have one heading up to the north, and then the others are just kind of fiddle farting around down here, so I'm not sure they have a good beat on us. We do have a freighter going directly overhead, which may help, and they, they may be figuring out where we are at this point, but we'll see. What's our current depth now? Let's go even deeper. 160 meters, please. They are, they are very upset. Understandably so. Uh, oh gosh. We want to change course often. Try to throw them off if they are on our scent. Let's head this way. This Corvette is now the largest threat. Our current priority is just to break contact and get the hell out of here. Uh, we will re-engage, of course, because this this is a massive convoy. I mean, how many tr ships are actually here? I'm thinking closer to the 40 mark. Um, this is this is a chonker of a convoy. Oh, I do want to take advantage of that. Overall, I'm happy with how that core uh, that cruiser attack went, though. So this guy's pretty close. Not sure how far away exactly. It looks like around 750 meters, so a bit further away than I expected. The seas are rather choppy out as well, which will definitely help conceal us. Let's go ahead and rig for yeah, blue lighting while I am thinking about it, because discipline is dropping. It'll be fully depleted in 12 minutes. Not much I can do about that besides just hope 
some of our men don't break. This is a new campaign as well, so a lot of my crew is not as experienced as they were in the uh, previous playthrough. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. We can hear all those screws churning up water up above. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it out of this one alive. Things are starting to get pretty spicy. <laughs> uh, here we go. This shore is pretty damn close. And things may go south rather soon. She's above us. She's moving past. Wow. Okay, she is dropping charges. All ahead flank. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Down to 180 meters, please. We're going to risk... Uh, breaking some pipes here, but it'll be worth it if it keeps us alive. How are you boys doing in here? Everyone okay? Everything looking good? Quite a bit of water building up in the bilge. I'm not going to pump that out now. We're just going to have to live with it. Okay, the charges are exploding. It looks like they are aft of us, which is quite nice. I do love watching them explode in this game. They're not close enough to be super scary though right now, so we're kind of in the clear. Low discipline, yeah. Can hear the hole buckling under the pressure. They're also shooting star shells and stuff around. Look at this little guy, little flower class. He's just sitting here and listening. Pretty good strategy. And you can see those depth charges exploding behind him. Okay, I think we are in the clear. Reduce speed down to slow. We did our sprint, and now this guy is our concern. We are in this Corvette's baffles currently, so we're kind of shielded by that. All right, that was their first depth charge run that was anywhere near us, so uh, they are on the scent, that is for sure. But the good news is it looks like we're only really dealing with two of them up here instead of, you know, six <laughs> or, or whatnot. Um... So, the situation is not great, not terrible. Yeah, a lot of destroyers are actually heading this way now. Uh, the hornet's nest has been stirred. <laughs> we have two, four, six, eight, nine destroyers looking for us. Thankfully, they are spitting in the wrong area. We are making our way out of here. Uh, let's change course, though, just to be sure, because this guy does look like he is doing a attack run currently. And heading our way. Let's adjust course again. Of course, once I speak, I talked a little too soon. Looks like he's turning around, though. Yeah, we're quite lucky. I am playing on the hard difficulty, so... Uh, this is definitely the strategy. The discipline is at 5%. What's our current depth again? just triple check and we are bouncing around kind of a lot down here well anyway uh definitely interesting uh they definitely know generally where we are the convoy is almost unescorted if there were other u-boats in the area this would be a turkey shoot okay this guy's getting a little close and definitely a cause for concern let's leave from here and take a look at the boat how's it going down here boys Pretty good. Um, once this guy passes, we are going to come up just a little bit. Let's change course. We're probably going to have to have to increase speed here. Try to maneuver out of the way of these depth charges. But she's about to drop, I'm sure. Yeah, directly above us. Let's see if he rolls. If he rolls, then we'll move. Maybe he's out of depth charges. Wouldn't that be swell? We have some water building up here. Let's see. Oh, he is dropping. Okay. All ahead full. Let's get out of here. Hard to port. Okay, we are already doing that. Beautiful. Let's get out of here, boys. This one's going to be tough. Drop down 200 meters, 200 meters. Let's 
get out of here. Discipline's super low once again. Thankfully, no one has broken and made a whole lot of noise. The captain's just hanging out in his bed <laughs> during all of this. I'll let the crew handle that. Okay. Check the map. How's it looking? How's the situation? Okay, we're putting on the beans, that's for sure. Moving six knots. Keep moving. Keep hard to port, please. Okay, I'm passing 200 meters now. All right, try to maintain those boys. And we can get you off of there. We'll assign an additional sailor to our electric motors. And we will keep sprinting until those charges start blowing up. Okay, there they go. How close are they? Not too close. You can kind of see them over there. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Okay, those noises are getting a little concerning, however. Come up to 160 meters, please. So we don't crush ourselves. Our first guy broke. He's back here in the stern torpedo room. All right, get over here and knock him out. We won't have that aboard my boat. No sir. All right, <laughs> Wolfgang the fourth is heading back there to take care of business. This destroyer is still harassing us. Thankfully, it is just down to one now. He is pretty accurate, so we've been just kind of, you know, zigzagging about and avoiding his patterns. He's probably going to run out of depth charges pretty soon here, hopefully. Wolfgang God, is taking end, out dude. the trash. And this guy's just sweeping up. He's mopping up the blood, I guess, from Wolfgang knocking him out. Um, that's kind of brutal. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh. Uh, we have bigger fish to fry here. Let's be sure we observe this Corvette. Okay, sailor's in a critical state, but the uh, situation is resolved. All right, get him out of here. Let's adjust course as this destroyer comes up behind us and looks like it's kind of turning away. We're not going to accelerate. She's beginning a attack run now. And she probably dropped some depth charges right there. That's uh, a safe bet, I'd think. Yeah, lots of vessels detected, all sorts of stuff. Getting lots of sea wolves out of this. Like I said, that was the first man that broke, and our discipline has just been cracking constantly here. Anyway, I think we'll be able to make it out of here safely. Thankfully, nothing too serious. One thing that is concerning, however, is we do have quite a bit of water building up in the control room. We'll be able to pump that out, but I don't want to use the pumps right now um, with this destroyer right above us. That is a good way to be heard. I think we may be in the clear here, folks. It looks like this Corvette is bugging out, and I said that <laughs> too soon. Okay, we have a leak. We have a leak. Okay, now it's time to actually... Okay. Capitan. The leak is being worked on. Okay, we have quite a lot of water in the engine room. What's our current depth? Just at 160 meters. Um, It's in the diesel engine room. Okay, abandon this room. Turn off the electricity as well. I'll just seal it. Avoid water. Oh my gosh, look at all this water. We gotta turn on the pump. Okay, Do turn on the pump. Get this shit out. Yeah, we're dropping. Okay. Alright, fellas. Okay, turn. Get this water out. Get this water out and get this water out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This Corvette may hear this. We are rather far away. We are 2.8 kilometers away, but this has to be done. That's a lot of water. Make sure the pump is still on. The pump is still on. Perfect. Oxygen's fine as well, and battery capacity is fine. Okay, that leak certainly made things a little exciting. We also have some water in the 
electric motor room and stern torpedo room, but it's not as much. I'm not worried about it. The men are pailing water into the control room and pumping it out now. Which is all fine and dandy. We'll just try to get as much of it out as possible. We'll let this... We'll pump water out for one minute. How about that? Propellers detected. Okay, we have a couple of tiny groups up here. I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. This Corvette is still moving away. We're maintaining depth as well with all this water. Jeez, that's just a, it is a lot of water, isn't it? It is a lot of water. I don't think our little pump can keep up. Okay, stop. We'll keep pumping. I'm not too worried about it. Hopefully this doesn't turn out to uh, bite me in the butt here, but I think we're golden. Okay. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Let's keep pailing out that water, boys. Doing good. It looks like the water in this quarters is out. Let's turn on the electricity. And yeah, the diesel room is uh, nice and dry. Beautiful. Good job, guys. Good stuff. And I will say that it, one thing I really do enjoy in this game is damage control. Like it is, it is quite fun uh, to you know to try to save your your boat. Uh, I wish I got depth charged a little more often, huh? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't. There we go. It's 4:06 in the morning. We're still at 160 meters. I'm not going to come up, but. Uh, at least until this Corvette's a little bit further away. We do want to start thinking about re-engaging. We took out that cruiser, which was great. I do enjoy taking out large warships. And you can say that cruiser was cruising for a bruising. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting to say that. That's great. Okay, we are uh, we're good. We're going to get this water out. We're going to come up to periscope depth and uh, see what's going on. Uh-oh. Someone's had a heart attack. Uh, go treat him, please. <laughs> oh, no. Stefan. It's okay, bud. Hopefully he doesn't uh, kick the bucket right now. That would be not good. <laughs> Let's keep putting some distance between us and these Corvettes. We could actually come up to PD now. We should be good. Okay, it looks like that guy was okay. All right, perfect. All right, we are golden. A lot of the water is out. Let's turn the pump I, I, on I, I again like just to get the last remnants of water there out of here. But it looks like we have some more in the diesel room. Other than that, the, the boat is nice and dry. A nice successful attack. Okay, perfect. After about another hour or so of being submerged, I decided to surface the boat and continue to track that enemy convoy. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I will see you all on the next one.